Hi, welcome to Chad Silversmithing. Uh, first, thanks for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button before you leave, that helps out a great deal as far as getting my channel out there. Uh, thanks in advance if, for doing that. So today I thought I would do um, a ring that looks like it's made out of branches uh, and the branches become the prong setting for the stone, but I'm going to prong set actually um, a cabochon that is uh, kind of an abstract shaped turquoise because it seemed like the kind of a cool thing to, to set with branches. And so I thought we'd give that a try today. I've never made anything that looked like branches before really. And uh, I'm going to play with using a texture hammer to do that as well as some creative soldering. And we'll see how it turns out. But uh, before we do that, uh, I wanted to thank some people. Um, in particular, my YouTube subscribers. We passed 4,500, and uh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your contributions and your kind words. Uh, buying me a coffee, all those things really help out a lot with getting me supplies and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for that, and thanks for your kindness. Um, also, wanted to thank my patrons over on Patreon. They are paying for my premium content uh, on a monthly basis. And uh, they have formed a really nice community over there where we share some ideas and I have a monthly theme for them to make some jewelry pieces on. Um, occasionally I'll send some swag out to some people. So it's a nice place with lots of uh, nice people and quite a few very skilled people actually. So there's good resources there for uh, learning. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, actually uh, Patreon just made available a, a discounted way to subscribe too uh, on all of the different levels if you subscribe for a whole year uh, they, I think they give you 18 percent off and that's a pretty good deal so you might check that out uh, there's links to all of those things in my video description I'd love to have you sign up to Patreon uh, even if it's at the lowest level just get rid of the YouTube ads uh, but thanks for uh, considering that uh, so let's get started on this project. I'm kind of excited to try to make a tree ring, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I considered a number of different stones for this. Uh, but I was thinking about doing this pretty little pink tourmaline cabochon, but I was thinking it might be cooler if we did something a little more abstract shape, kind of like clutched in the branches, like the roots of a tree might wrap around a rock or something. And this uh, piece of turquoise kind of fit the bill for it. It's got a relatively flat bottom, but it's kind of an odd shape. It's thicker in spots from the side, and it's uh, thinner in other spots. So having a custom prong setting to hold this might be easier than doing a, a bezel setting for it anyway. So uh, this is a good choice for this one, I think. I did some prototyping as far as texturing and um, soldering some branches together. And I was initially thinking I would make some... Uh, you know the band here, the branches, texture it, and then um, put something that was shaped like the shape of the uh, shape of the stone in between those guys as a platform. But I think if I put some uh, extra branches there, I can incorporate them underneath the stone to create a platform for it to sit on. So, and then they'll kind of all match everything and it'll look more organic -y even. So that'll be fun to try and do. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to use a little bit thicker wire for this so that I can beat it up, uh, file away some parts of it so that it looks more, you know, or less, you know, uh, man-made, looks more uh, organic-y before I texture it. And I may solder this all together, polish it, and then texture it, kind of, because <clears throat> that may make it easier to um, get a really nice texture on it. And uh, my thought was... After, uh, if I polish it first, texture it with a hammer, and then oxidize it, and then use kind of one of those uh, the silicone uh, polishing wheels, but a really fine one, to just take off the very top uh, layer where the, you know, the recessed areas will stay dark, and it'll be nice and shiny in the other places. And so ho I'm hoping that'll look like, you know, organic-y uh, uh, bark kind of look. So that's what I'm shooting for. And we'll just kind of play with the you know random shapes for the branches. So I'm going to use, um, like I said, I, I this was uh, eight gauge half round I was playing with. This is uh, six gauge, so it's a little bit thicker. I also filed some notches in the end here in order to attach the branches a little more naturally. So, and for the branches I'll use 14 gauge, and I also might throw a couple of skinnier ones in there out of 16 gauge just to to add some uh, you know more uh, natural looking kind of sizing so 
All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to set this off to the side for the moment, show you kind of what I do. By the way, this is my design idea book. This is a bestseller in my merch store. Uh, I really like it because it's got these, uh, it's got a grid instead of, um, well, it's a grid, but it's just the corner points of the squares. So it allows me to have graph paper without all the lines getting in the way and interfering with your drawing. So it kind of helps you to keep things symmetrical and stuff. But this is what I had in mind, basically, you know, with the main stock for the band of the ring, branches coming off, and then we'll shape it and get it to, you know, uh, be into a circle, and then we can incorporate the stone in there. So we'll give it a try. Like I said, I've never made one of these, so it'll be kind of a good experiment. Um, uh, if you're new to my channel, I use uh, pretty much always hard silver sheet solder. Uh, which is the highest melting temperature solder, and I use uh, Mighty Flux, which is a spray-on flux that I get from Rio Grande. Uh, the hammer I'm going to use for this texturing is this thing. I got this from Amazon a while back. My wife got it for me. And it's got different heads that you can swap out here. I'm going to use this one because it's got kind of parallel lines, so it's you can do it in different directions a little bit and get kind of a wood grainy look, I'm hoping. Uh, it kind of looked like that on that, although it's hard to tell probably on the video. but. Uh, once I oxidize things, I think it'll really show up well. So we'll see. Um, the other thing is, uh, what did I do? So in order to decide the length, I decided I was going to kind of shoot for about a size seven. And so what I did was I measured around the mandrel at a seven with a strip of paper. So from here to here was a size seven, roughly what I would normally cut. So I reduced it so that the branches would start below where they come together in the middle a little bit and then I made uh, some, that's where I decided to cut off this piece here at that length because that's where the, the little branches will attach. Um, <clears throat> if it doesn't work out that way I can always cut a piece out of the middle too if I need to shorten it or something. But let's try it like this. I'll make them you know about to that length on both sides and then we'll trim them off if we need to. So, but I think first off, I'm gonna I'm gonna distress this a little bit with the file. Uh, maybe the round nose half uh, or the half round uh, jeweler's file. Like pick some spots and do some indented areas, you know, a little bit. some starting points to work with. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start with two branches coming out from either side. I'll make them pretty long to start with. Uh, and then we can further uh, uh, torture this metal <laughs> a bit later on if we need to. But let's put these guys on here. <clears throat> we'll start with six. And then we'll start adding some stuff maybe. So I'm going to file these down a little bit, on one side at least. Actually, let's do both. Seemed to be on a, a nature design kick. Yesterday I did some, uh, Thursday, it's going to be Saturday when you see this, but uh, the last video I put out was three different styles of birds, uh, earrings. Things, or not earrings, but uh, just pieces of jewelry. I had two pennants and a pair of earrings. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, put a link up there for you. I thought it was kind of fun. I was particularly pleased with the flamingo. He was adorable. I had a very generous um, viewer who sent me some uh, very pretty stones. I wanted to give a special thanks to her. Her name's Vanessa. And uh, 
she, her uh, business name is uh, Beto J, uh, which I think stands for better than a day job. Uh, but I'll put a link in the video description to her um, Instagram so you can see some of her stones and stuff. So it was very generous of her. You should give her some business. So thank you, Van, for that. That's very, very nice of you to do. Okay, let's see if we can solder some of these guys together. I can do just a little bit. I could use my, uh, my miter vise to get a perfect 45, but I'm doing uh, something that's organic. It doesn't have to be a perfect 45. Is my way of thinking. Let's try that and see how that works. I'm going to use a generous amount of solder on these guys. these ones. I'm going to put them kind of branching off of the one of these guys on either side, maybe opposite of each other. At kind of a really straight out angle. I can't get those guys to stick. middle ones I'm going to leave relatively intact, but these other ones I think I can kind of, you know, start making into different Organic-y sort of shapes here. I want to add a little bit of the 16 gauge ones, which are a little bit skinnier. Maybe a couple of coming off of these. Hmm. I think I might want to do a little uh, filing to to shape these a little bit too, and then I'll, I'm probably going to do the texturing next. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna texture these ones, and then we'll, if we need to, we'll add some. We'll texture these and then solder them on. Because um, I want to put some of these outside of these other ones, but I want them to already be textured. So, but I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with trunk the, here. The trunk here. That's a pretty good start, I think. So I'm going to add some more of these branches out here, and we'll see how that goes. Actually, let's pre-texture some of this 16. So I'm going to sweat a little solder onto these ones so I don't get a lot of, you know, over soldering going on, meaning too much solder that runs into the the texture that I'm creating here. I smoothed those out with the Dremel just a little bit, and now I'll kind of get those to kind of merge in there. Maybe we can put kind of a knot or something here. Let's see if I can do that with a gapping punch. Give it a little wave, maybe. around the mandrel here. Like I said, I was thinking I was going to use the outer ones here as the main, main prongs versus these two inner ones. which will become the platform for the stone to sit on. But I'm going to have to do a little bending here. I 
thinking something like that, maybe. It needs to be a little bit closer together now, probably. So I think I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. get this to be kind of a, a level platform that's going to be here. This branch I can move elsewhere, but I need to solder these all together, sort of. So the trick here is not having anything fall off when I do this. could use easy solder or something like that, but that's not my fave. So I think I might push this into the uh, magnesia block. That's always a pretty safe bet for keeping things in position. Less likely than anything will go moving around, but I really need to let's see where does it need to connect? It needs to connect right here and right there. So I'll be pick soldering those two spots. It really helps if you know how to pick solder to do stuff like this. If you're interested in learning about pick soldering, I'll put a link right there to my pick soldering video. It really took my jewelry making to a, a different level. And I learned how to do that. going to be pretty big right now though, so we're going to have to size it down a bit. Okay, I think I'm just going to cut it right on the bottom here. Take a little piece out of there. File those little guys again. See if we can't get that soldered without anything else moving. This is a magnesia block if you're not familiar with it. It's kind of a soft soldering surface that you can push stuff into. Handy for a lot of situations. So that's going to fill in some of those seams, so we'll have to hammer that spot again a little bit more. As there's probably some other spots I'll have to hammer too, but... I think that'll look pretty darn cool. Okay, I'm gonna um, 
I'm going to pickle this and then I'm going to hammer any places where I've soldered so that it gets you know more of that wood grain look back to it and then we'll uh, bring it back and decide where to you know cut things off for the prongs and then we'll set that stone um, but somewhere in there I'm gonna um, oxidize it and shine the, the surface I'll probably show you what it looks like uh, after we do that and then before we set it so into the pickle we go I went ahead and I polished it in advance and then I oxidized it with some uh, Black Max oxidizer. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set the stone. Oh, I actually took a white, or not a white one, a, one of the blue silicone polishing wheels and polished over the high points so that it would leave kind of dark stuff in the, in the nooks and crannies to give it more of that wood look. And so now I think I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here. See if I can figure out how it'll sit nice. I originally was going to have these guys solder together, but I might cut those so that the stone is a little more visible. Okay, I got everything kind of pushed down and I ran a polishing cloth over the top of it. I'll take some better pictures and put it at the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, it's always fun to try something new like that. Uh, if you did enjoy it, would you make sure to hit the like button before you leave? I really appreciate that. It helps out a lot. After you do that, uh, check out a few of my other videos. I have over 180 videos now, I believe, and I'm putting out three per week. One on Tuesday, one on Thursday, and one on Saturday, typically. So this is going to be Saturday's video this weekend. And um, after you do that, you know, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And make sure to hit the bell so they get notifications when I put out a new video. So um, either way, uh, thanks for coming. Leave a comment if you want. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to view this. So take care. Happy silversmithing.